Welcome back to my channel. If I'm familiar, my name's Miss Bree, an early childhood education teacher. Make sure to subscribe by clicking the red button under the screen and let's see what adventure we're going on today. Today, we are making a healthy, easy snack in the kitchen. It's a fun thing to do with family at home. Drum roll, please. Cake batter! Yum! But not just any cake batter. Let's just say there's a little twist to it. It's made with beans. Now, you might be thinking, ew, beans, really? Well, let's just say you won't even be able to taste the beans. They're kind of like hidden in there. I'm sure you're familiar with hummus. It's made with garlic and tahini and you use it for vegetables and chips. Well, this is like a dessert hummus and you're taking it for a sweet ride. Put it in the food processor. That's your main ingredient. And then we're gonna add maple syrup and some cane sugar and oat flour and van vanilla extract. You won't even be able to taste it. In fact, we are going to prank my dad. So I told my dad earlier I was gonna make cake batter. And will you be my taste tester for this? And he goes, sure. Well, I didn't tell him that there's gonna be beans in it. <laughs> And one thing about my dad is he's kind of a picky eater. He likes very traditional, simple food. So I'm going to see if he is going to even like this. First, you will need the beans, and they are garbanzo beans, <laughs> big word. In other words, chickpeas. And then I'm going to add a third cup of flour of your choice. I added oat flour, and then I'm going to do sugar and I will have the recipe in the description below being more specific got some maple syrup now extract and this stuff tastes great with like graham crackers, fruit. And voila, we've got cake batter. And what, to top it off, I'm gonna add some sprinkles. Now, I have another surprise for you. That what's going to go in this other bowl is another sweet treat, a healthy treat with a twist. So I put some of the cake batter in here, but I left some of it still in the food processor because we are now going to add a little peanut butter, some chocolate chips, and it's going to taste like cookie dough keeps getting better and better. Just full of surprises. Mmm. I top it off with some chocolate chips. So there we have cake batter and chocolate chip cookie dough. And again, the extra addition to make the cookie dough was some peanut butter and chocolate chips. So now we're gonna taste test it before my dad does.
Mmm. The cookie dough. It's a little thicker. Mmm. So it, here what we used was one of the most nutritious foods, beans, and getting a way for kids to eat them by hiding them in some of their favorite foods like cake batter and cookie dough and they won't even know it's in there. Now let's see what my dad thinks about them. Oh dad! Yeah? Um, I've got two sweet treats for you to try. We've got cake batter and we've got chocolate chip cookie dough. And be honest, give it a thumbs up, give it a side thumbs, give it a thumbs down. Oh. Whatever you think about it. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Thumbs up? I like up? that. Thumbs up? I want to try that though. Okay. This is now, we've been doing a lot of fun things while we're at home. We've been cooking more, we've been going for walks, we've been playing mm. board games, all kinds of fun stuff. My mom even gave my dad a haircut, looking good. Yes, I like that one, I think, more. Okay, well, Dad, I, mm. I gotta tell you something. Wait, one second. Guess what, Dad? What? We pranked you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> um, the main ingredient in the cake batter and the chocolate chip cookie dough are beans, chickpeas, garbanzo beans. Oh, no. <laughs> and I know how if I would have told you, you ahead of time you probably would have been like ew gross so I didn't want to tell you and I and that way you taste them and could you taste them in it? No I had no idea. <laughs> and I know how you're kind of a picky eater we all stuff. can be picky eaters <laughs> and it looks like you can't stop eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so would you eat that? As a healthy snack? Or as a snack? I would. Mm, try a little chocolate, one of these bunnies. Mm -hmm. A little chocolate chip on it. So as you can see, even the most picky, pickiest eaters will hey. eat this healthy um, cake batter mm. and healthy chocolate chip cookie dough loaded with protein. So after a few um, scoops of it, you're probably going to start feeling pretty full. Yep. But yeah. Yeah. That was good. Well, as you can see, you can t turn a, a dessert into a healthy snack. Thank you so much for watching this delicious cake batter and cookie dough adventure. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.